right now you've completed or you should have completed the first five basic lessons to teach you basic motion tweening shape tweening etc how to add audio and so forth now what we're going to do we're going to start our first project so we're going to scroll down your first project is the dancing puppet and what you're going to do is you're going to take this file you're going to put your own face on it and we're going to make it dance a dancing puppet if you will click on the link to this wonder how to etc he, this gentleman actually does a much, much better job than I do when it comes to explaining specifically the bones and how to constrain them. What I'm going to do is I'll break this lesson out in open toe steps so that you can complete hopefully one step per day to get it right. Now, I'm going to close out. If you also go to the Baxter Drive, Lesson Flash Animation, there's the how-to videos, and I also have the Dancing Tom started there for you. Okay, so we open Flash. I'll go Open. I'm going to tell it to go to the Baxter Drive because I'm saving it locally so that I can show you these examples real quick. And I'm going to go to a dancing Tom. When you get it, you're going to see this gentleman here. This gentleman's name is Tom, and he's working with the other guy that wrote this original lesson that I got this idea from. And they actually have written or co-written together some really awesome Photoshop and Flash lessons. If you, you go if you go to that link, they'll take you to their website and show you even more. They really got some great stuff out there. But what we want to do is we want to customize it. We want to change Tom's head to our own. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Photoshop. And you're going to pull in a picture of yourself. Now, if you really don't want to put a picture of yourself, you can put a picture of a family member. You can put a picture of maybe your favorite cartoon character. We just want the face, and we want a face that's different that we can apply here. Now, when you pull it into Photoshop, get rid of everything but the face and save it to your folder as a JPEG or a PNG. Now, I've already made one of me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Library, and I'm going to go find Tom's head. I'm going to double-click on it. I'm going to click on the import button and then I'm going to go to my folder where I have my avatar. Many websites now they want an avatar so here's my avatar and I'm going to click on update and then click OK. Now it doesn't look like I've done anything except if you notice in the corner you'll see that my head is now in the library. To update it in the stage double click on the head and ta-da it pops in yours and then click on scene to get back out. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to add some handles. Think of this as a toy puppet. If you're working with ever played with a toy puppet, they're operated by strings or wooden sticks that are attached to the hand, the feet, to make it do the different motions. So in your timeline, you're going to have the little option that says handle. Notice it's like a turquoise or blue. All I'm going to do is pull it out and put it by my feet, by my head, and by my hands. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to customize the stage to the particular color that I like. I'm going to leave it at the size. You can make it bigger. You can pull in a stage background. There's a lot of different things you can do. But just to make it fun and easy, I'm just going to customize the color to pink. I'm going to leave the frame rate at 24. You can shrink it down to 10, 12. You can make it 30. Just remember this is how many frames per second. So depending on how much seconds of animation you need, this is what you're going to go to. All right? So 24 is what we're going to keep it. So here it is. Now before I do anything else, I actually want to save this file because believe it or not, this could take a single class period to complete properly. So go do a file, save as, and save it in there. Mine, I'm going to save it as Dancing Baxter. The reason we do this is because the next step is bones. And sometimes when you're learning to put the bones on, even I still mess up sometimes. And I'll find that it's easier to just exit it out and start back again from this point if I really mess the bones up. So that's why step one, you do this part. Once we've got this done, then we go on to adding bones. So you create it, you save it, then we do the bones.